Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Joshua back out at the Skyway Fishing Pier gonna show you how to rig up the infamous cork rig that I like to use out here at the pier. So this is a very easy and effective technique. Why do you use the cork? You keep, the cork keeps your bait up on top of the water or mid column depending on how you rig it and it just keeps your bait from going into structure, makes them clearly visible and ultimately an easy target. So I'm going to show you how to set it up with just a few essential things. Very first thing is a bobber stop. Bobber stops. Bobber stops are very inexpensive. Uh, you get them off of Amazon or eBay for literally like a couple bucks and you can get a few hundred of them. The way you put them on, go ahead, put your braided line through this little hole here. And then what you want to do is take your index finger and your thumb and grab this black bead and start to pull it up on the braid. Just like that. And this is what the bobber is going to ultimately hit to stop. And that's going to be how you set your depth as well, which I'll cover in more depth in just a moment. A big old bobber. Oh yeah. You want a nice bobber that you can see and clearly visible. So these bobbers here, $1.49, got them at Gator Gems. This one particularly doesn't have any weight inside of it. So I'm gonna be using it. I don't care if it stays on its side because I'm gonna be uh, pretty much floating past crabs. So what I wanna do is go ahead and run this bobber or this braid right through the bobber here on the top. Just pull that through. As you're going to see, this bobber stop is what stops the cork upon strike. So it wasn't going to, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little lead on here just because the cork's unweighted. And you just slide that on. And then what you want to do is go ahead and tie using the improved clinch knot. Just a nice little swivel here. Now with the swivel, you always make sure you go back through the swivel twice before you start the clinch knot so that way it never slips. Go around six times. If you don't know how to tie the improved clinch knot, I'll leave the video link in the description. Check out that it's a very simple fundamental knot that is highly recommended that you know. And there we go, trim the tag. So I'm gonna go light today. I'm only gonna put a few feet of 50 pound monofilament leader on here. Sometimes when the fish are being a little leery, you downsize. And again, I'm just tying to the swivel, the other opposite end, the improved clinch knot. Use a little saliva with mono, pull it tight, make sure she cinches down really good, trim your tag. Today we're gonna to be using this beautiful sharp six aught owner hook tying this baby on with you guessed it right another clinch knot pull it tight bam quick recap feed stop bobber stop bobber goes up hits the bead for the bobber stop this is our little quarter ounce lead egg sinker Swivel, monofilament leader. Today, just a 6-0 owner hook. That's what we're gonna be hooking our crab to. Now, for the rig, I got this big old Slammer 3 6500 spooled with Power Pro, 60 pound Power Pro. Guys, this reel is a beast. Got a huge power knob, very, very smooth drag, and can really handle some big fish. Also, on here, you guys have seen it many times, this is a St. Croix Tidemaster, eight foot, medium, uh, heavy power. St. Croix has always done me pretty well. Tidemasters, they have a questionable reputation, uh, but St. Croix in general is very good. Chris breaks these things like they went out of style, but let me tell you, I'm not broken one to date, knock on wood. But of course, I also take care of my equipment, unlike Chris. <laughs> so that's it guys that's the setup today that's the rig for the cork let me show you how it looks in the water here hey 
Hey, 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 that's a wrap for my tarpon setup. Stay tuned. Hopefully we get all some nice action, some tarpon action. But if you like this video on how to set up your tarpon setup, comment below, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And hey, until next time, we'll see you on the water.